Grab some rich aromatic beans in the cup of urban India. Add a little innovation, stir with the aspirational youth. And what you get is a piping hot cup of coffee culture. This is the new age branded coffee. Coffee drinking culture among the young aspirational urban Indians is the main driver behind the 35% rise in per capita consumption for branded coffee in the last four years. In a nation that's predominantly tea drinking, branded coffee has made quite a statement. There's been a 12 to 15% growth year on year in the coffee market, clearly diluting the equity of tea in this segment. The uh, per capita consumption has almost uh, doubled, you know, at this point of time. Uh, it is now somewhere around 70 to 80 grams. Vis-a-vis, uh, -vis it was around um, 40 odd grams, you know, in 2005. So that uh, it, it's almost doubled in, in just about four years. And I mean, the opportunity is huge. Cafe chains have been instrumental in driving consumption by playing up on the romance of coffee. By introducing beans from different parts of the world to encouraging consumers to become connoisseurs, cafe bars have given coffee an exotic, romantic feel to it. They've made it more ubiquitous. You, you'll see coffee shops pretty, pretty much anywhere you go now. Uh, and, and their presence has also increased the awareness levels of coffee. They've managed to make coffee sexy and more relevant to the youth, more appealing. Coffee is uh, now more acceptable as a social drink. So, you know, when, and it's also now become a mood space, which is again driving up consumption of the coffee. Like, you, when two people want to hang out together, they want to spend time together, so let's meet over coffee. They don't, don't really say let's meet over tea. So. The Tea Board of India has made attempts to promote the beverage via its tea centres and there are a few such tea shops in the cities, all of which are few and far in between. There are few private players in the game and hence a glaring lack of promotion amongst the youth. Tea advertising hasn't helped either. It has not done enough. I think the problem is not about what it is as a product. Coffee, I mean, if you look at coffee advertising, leave aside the chains. Even when you talk about celebrating the consumption of the beverage, coffee advertising presents it in the context of a world. Tea advertising presents it only in the context of a product. So tea advertising is still focused on, is it strong? Is it aromatic? Does it have taste? Does it have aroma? It is still caught up in the product. Coffee advertising is about what kind of people consume it. What is the experience, the sharing over a cup of coffee. So it has moved one rung higher in its appeal. If tea has to grow and reclaim that part, it cannot be only a beverage. I think uh, brands didn't know, you know where to take the sort of leap. Uh, the category itself didn't know. So they were talking about you know flavors and uh, moments and aroma and things like that. And there was never a category push, what tea means to people, uh, what, you know, just as something to drink was what people were concentrating on. And they didn't really see the big picture of what tea could have become to people. So I think that was uh, what was sort of pulling it down. Branded tea seems to have woken up with its new variants such as packaged iced tea, mint and herbal tea hoping to win back some of the equity that it had lost to coffee. But there's still no sign of any competition to coffee yet in the retail space. The 650 crore rupee coffee retail market is riding high on the popularity wave. As for tea, the insipid promotion and the lack of effort to push the category to different retail channels may just land it in a tight spot in the near future. Maybe it's time for tea makers to finally wake up and smell the coffee.